what's up guys thanks for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it i am back again to the same location with the work snail avatar system i'm gonna give it another crack out the corner but before i do that i'm gonna go over some of the change i made to the system and hopefully this time we get a better result all right so let me quickly go over the change i made i am currently running the latest firmware from work snail and that is the 23.23.34 and I've also changed my antenna configuration. According to Matt Tech, uh, this is the best configuration to get the most performance out of your setup. I have the patch antenna on top and all the other one, I'm just using the regular work snail antenna. And as far as the quad go, we are still using the same quad that we used in the last video. And of course the VTX has been updated to the latest firmware. Oh guys, for our first pass, I'm going to tell you what I'm running it at. I'm running it at 4 watts, I'm running 1200 milliwatts. I got the bitrate standard, which is technically the low bitrate. And I'm running 25 milliwatts. And we're going to see, uh, it's going to do on 25 first. And depending on how, how it goes, we're gonna go ahead and move to move to 50 bit weight. Uh, so far, I'm up, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that with the new firmware and the new antenna setup, we do a little better. And let's see. Uh, delay wise, we're doing good. 25 milliseconds. This is where I got in trouble last time. Uh, come on, work snail. Uh, so far, I say we're doing better, and I'm actually on channel one. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just at the DJR. I would say may actually may have done a slightly better. Oh, ho, ho. we got you, corner. Let me get a second pass. So I'm not really sure if it's just the new firmware that's made a big change or if that's just my antenna setup. Uh, in the previous video, I had the two patches in the bottom. But according to MacTech, and I think someone has put the comment in the video that I needed to have my patch antenna on the right top. Uh, on the right top side of the gago. And I think that's actually what made the change. It's, but it's hard to tell. Uh, you can see it is pretty good. And that was with 25 milliwatts. Uh, let me come back and we're gonna switch to 50. And we'll see if it's gonna do any better with 50 uh, megabits. All right guys, now we are at uh, 50 megabits. And the thing about a 50 megabit is actually variable. And the previous one I actually was running at a thousand milliwatt as far as power goes when I went in to change the bit rate. I found out that I was running at a thousand. So that actually was pretty impressive because I, I thought I was at 1200, but that was actually a thousand. So now we got the 50 megabit rate, and let's see how that's gonna perform compared to 25. And hopefully, oh, a little more glitchy, but the system still holding up good. It's still holding up. It's still holding up. Woo! Big delay, big glitch, but here we go. Went to the corner. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. And again, God, this is we only one watt i'm not even at full power so i would say our full power is definitely gonna do better but and again i believe it's mostly my antenna setup so i would say if you want to get the best out of your avatar system 
Just follow what Matek has said. Set up the antenna to where your patch is on the right corner. And everything else, just your regular antenna. But I have to say, between the 50 and the 25 bit rate, I'm getting a lot more glitches or spike or delay on the 50. It was much smoother with the 25. Alright uh, guys, that was just a quick video, uh, the system performed pretty well and I'm going to let you go and I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one.